Well, the first point is Ukraine is not some distant land. It is right in Europe here. We got Ukraine here. And just a reminder, these countries neighboring Europe, they're all NATO allies. Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania. In fact, all these countries in green are NATO countries. And just look at the distances. You know, Kiev to Frankfurt, it's only a couple hours flight. Kiev down to Rome, a couple hours, a little longer to London. This is not some distant land. To have this kind of division, violent division, right in the middle of, of Europe, causes instability. It's a real worry to all these countries and to the U.S. because we're so close to them. Why does Russia care? Let's look at this next map. We've heard a lot about Sevastopol. This is the Black, Navy, the Black Sea fleet for the Russians. It's their only warm water port. All their ports up here in wintertime, often not accessible. And this one here is so key because it gives them access to the Mediterranean and then out to the Atlantic here. And this is the key national security for interest, really, when it comes to Ukraine and Crimea. And that's why when those 6,000 troops first moved into the Crimea, this is where they went first, right around Sevastopol. And it shows this is a key issue. It's not just for the West, certainly for Russia. The whole country of Ukraine is pretty divided right now. And I want you to explain to our viewers how that unfolds. No question. You can see it right here in the map. Here, here is eastern Ukraine bordering Russia. These are the percentages of ethnic Russians speaking. Here, 75 percent speak Russian, ethnic Russian. Here, 75 percent. Here, all over 50 percent. Once you get into the western part of Ukraine bordering, remember these NATO allies here, here, and here. We're looking at only 5 percent ethnic Russian up here in the western parts of Ukraine. And, and that is also reflected in the pull between east and west. Many people here fear the pull towards Russia, deep cultural, historic ties, language ties. Many here feel the pull towards the EU and the west. And we've seen that reflected in their elections as well. In 2010, when voters went to the polls, this part of the country voted for the pro-Russian candidate, Viktor Yanukovych. This part of the country voted for the pro-European candidate, Yulia Tymoshenko, who until a week ago was in prison.